for Team Ebonite International, Chris Barnes. So this match, number nine of 12 preliminary matches. At that point, we will create a stepladder final based on how the teams sit through these 12 preliminary matches. The winner of this one will earn five points for his team. Chris Barnes for Ebonite International. Bowling for Team Storm products are defending champions, Ryan Schaefer. Ryan Schaefer, part of a doubles team that dropped a 300 last weekend. Snaps off a strike. Was he looked solid in this event? Barnes steps up to clean up his first frame. Takes care to 10 pins. Big applause for that. Rolling for Team 900 Global, Missy Parkin. Missy, the reigning USBC Queens champion. Fair to say that's probably the most prestigious tournament in all of women's bowling. That and the women's U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. Can't get the 10 to go. Get a little nudge, though. Bowling for Team Brunswick, Chris Loeschetter. 31-year-old from Avon, Ohio, still in pursuit of his first career title. His Bowled in 127 events without winning a title. Third longest winless streak among exempt players. He's always thrilled when we bring up that set. Hmm. Come on, Chris. Come on. Shot four. Left the four pin. Parkin, formerly Missy Bellender. Looking for the spare in the first. Ryan Schaefer with the strike here in the opening frame. <laughs> Nine career TV appearances for Low Shutter. Four times has made it to the title match. Still without a victory there. Time now for our Lumber Liquidators Know the Wood segment. Randy? 39 feet Tournament of Champions oil pattern. The players are going to play multiple angles. Missy's going to be the straightest. She has the lowest rev rate. She'll be piping it pretty straight in between first and second arrow. While Chris Barnes, Ryan Schaefer, and Chris Lowshedder, they're going to kind of migrate in, find that oil line, feed the ball a little bit to the right. Barnes went nine spare in the first. Here he is in the second to open things Go. up in this frame. Didn't like it. A little right on him. That gets nine. Good nine. pinfall there. It looks fast, Rob. It, it looked did. a little fast. Doesn't quite pick up down the lane. Just looks like he got into a little bit of a hurry here. Still trying to find his rhythm. It did get a inch wide, but I think a little softer speed, it makes the corner. Gives way to Schaefer on the left lane. Yeah. Back to back. Opening jacks. I'll tell you what, with that little voodoo side roll that Ryan Schaefer has, when he gets it going, nobody strikes as much as he does. A little more of a side roll. Watch Chris Barnes. He's more end over end. Is that a result of kind of the way he snaps that right arm on his follow through? Absolutely. It's the way his hand comes off the side of the bowling ball. Parkin in the second off a spare. Come on, Missy. Come on, ball. So another opportunity for a nine spare for Missy Parkin. And a tough spot for Missy when she gets into the week 10 four pin zone, which is exactly where she's at right now. She leaves a week 10. On the right lane, comes back to leave a four pin on the left lane. So, right out of the gate, not very good carry for her. Low shutter with his first strike. The low steps up for Team Brunswick and throws an X. Back to back, nine spares for Parkin. The Geico PBA team shootout is. Welcome back to Chicago. Rob Stone, Hall of Famer Randy Peterson, and Kimberly Pressler here with you. We flash back to what took place. Ryan Schaefer didn't like his effort in the third, but he'll take the strike. Here he is in the fourth. 
Opening Hambone to the fifth. How about an opening Yahtzee, Randy? Took great advantage of that Brooklyn strike. Made a little adjustment to a better shot. And it's the front five for Schaefer. Chris Lowshedder finds himself down by 34. Barnes, 42. And Missy is down 43 through five frames. These folks need to get on the strike train. And fast. That one. There's somebody who bought a ticket for the strike train. We break away from the lanes for a moment. Quick tip now on the push away with that man, Ryan Schaefer. I'm here with Ryan Schaefer, and he's going to share with us the best tip he's ever received. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, the best tip I've ever gotten, and I still get it every once in a while from my two coaches, Mike Jazz now and Chris Schlemmer, has to do with the push away. Most people either drop the ball straight down, which can lend your backswing being too steep, or they make a really big motion like that, okay? And the problem with that is that the ball doesn't get your swing at the proper time, so your timing can be either early or late. And the key term is to call rounding it off. The push away should end up about six to eight inches away from your body, and it should be rounded off very simply like that. All it is is to get the ball started and get your swing proper. Everything has been proper for Ryan Schaefer thus far. Perfect through five, looking to crack open a six pack. Yeah! He has been absolutely dynamic thus far through the Geico PBA team shootout. Yeah, he's been a real bright spot for Team Storm and just on fire in this match. Had that Brooklyn early on, but ever since then, it's been nothing but pure 10 in the pit. A lot of dirty white boy playing in the background because Schaefer is having a lot of success. Chris Lowshedder representing Team Brunswick. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. And a little country for Loesch. Is that what it was? I'm, I'm not like up, a little country. I'm not up on my country. Missy Parkin hoping to hear a song. No, Missy. Yeah. Mm, she won't. That gets a good late drop of the seven pin. What would your song be, Rob? Maybe something by ACDC. Nice. I like to I like to kind of come out strong. Nice. Cover. We go back to the top of the order. Everybody's still chasing Ryan Schaefer, who has been perfect through six. Here is Chris Barnes, trailing by 52. He finds his first double of this match. A great shot here. Last weekend, Ryan Schaefer teamed up with Jason Belmonte in doubles action, and the two of them were flawless. Just snapping the 10 out one shot after another. Belmo took the 4 6 for a perfect 300 game. We don't want to jinx anything here, but Schaefer, perfect in pursuit of another 300 game. It's a little early to talk about it. Maybe not now. Seven in a row. Yes, it's officially up for discussion. Well, you know, Ryan Schaefer is no stranger to 300s. Like we just saw, remember, he was the 19th bowler in PBA history to bowl a perfect game on television. He took down Jeff Carter. The semis of the 07 Pepsi Championship in Indy. But would go on to lose the title match to Norm Duke. Low shot. Mm. Looks like everybody's bowling for second now, Rob. Four pin. Evading low shutter. Parkin. There's 
is her second strike. Nice shot there. She's been clean and not in danger, but just needs a few more strikes and a few less spares. Now, the story is Batman. Ryan Schaefer representing Team Storm. Nothing but strikes for him. His pursuit of a perfect game when we return to Chicago. Great view, Lake Michigan, and the multitude of activities that take place around downtown Chicago. Welcome back inside the 10-pin bowling lounge. Was that your boat that just went by? I was just going to ask you, was that you in, in that yacht, Rob, That's, that just went by? Friend, I can't even afford a dinghy. That was not my <laughs> boat. Ryan Schaefer, perfect through seven. Here's his effort in the eighth. Got it. You look in the background, Randy, and his teammates aren't even watching his approach and his effort. They're all just, it's, it's almost like the pitcher with the no hitter. They're avoiding contact and conversation with him. Barnes stepping up, see what he's done. He's started to figure things out, looking for three in a row. Again, this is a race for second place right now. And for Schaefer, pursuit of a perfect game. It's a little reminiscent of a couple of weeks ago watching Rory McIlroy run away with the United States Open. <laughs> These guys are playing for second, plain and simple. Barnes knows that. Lowshedder knows that. Missy Parkin, she knows that. Here is Parkin trying to get her first double of this match. Could max out at a 235. Oh, there it is. Another good shot for a nice double right there for Missy. That six goes into the ten and snaps it out nicely for a double. Thank you. Low shutter. It's been on TV in singles appearances nine times. It on the release. Yeah, and he showed he threw this ball great. Reaction wise, down the lane, a little soft entering the pocket, thus leaving the soft 10. Stuck in this lipstick crap I always do. Barnes now in second, down only 52 pins. We begin the foundation frame ninth. Another strike for Barnes, and again, the lead that Schaefer has built up is at the insurmountable juncture, particularly the way he's been bowling right now, but Barnes making a good case for second place here. Yeah, you're right. Exactly, Rob. Right now, that's exactly what's on his mind. The only thing on Ryan Schaefer's mind? 300. Yeah, bowling another one. Nine in a row. That a boy, Ryan. Yeah, it's not just Storm teammates giving him high fives at this juncture. The PBA family coming together to cheer on Ryan Schaefer in his pursuit of a perfect game. He's such a good guy. It's hard not to root for him. Hello, Shatter. Six pin. He's the six pin. Going back about Ryan Schaefer, a guy who battles diabetes, has had his share of bad luck at four times in his career. A massive competitor out there. Here's Parkin.
Right now, these folks just trying to get out of the way, as are we. No offense to, to Missy or Low Shedder, but we want to see Ryan Schaefer. She's been clean, without a doubt. Head on over to PBA.com. Scores, vlogs, news, video, tournament entries, PBA membership, everything you need to know and want to know about the PBA can be found over at PBA.com. It's been a wonderful resource for us on the TV side of things. We begin our 10th. Here is Ryan Schaefer. Perfect through nine frames. Needs three more for a 300. One more strike here. Chris Barnes locks up second. Just trying to get out of the way. Take second place points. And let Schaefer do his thing. Talked about the tough luck Schaefer has had. He's finished second, Randy, in a major four separate times. He's been in 15 title matches, but has won just four. If he had won a couple of more tournaments, maybe just three, I think that would have been enough to get him in the Hall of Fame. And I mean that, Rob. If this guy would have won at least seven tournaments with his credentials and what he's done in this sport, I think seven total titles would have been enough to get him in. Now just one strike away from his second 300 game in a singles event. Well, it's pretty good. I guess second 300 well. game of this event. Out of doubles, 300 earlier. Last weekend with Jason Belmonte. 11 straight strikes. Looking for 12 and perfection. Ryan Schaefer. He's done it! Thank you. 